Hey everyone, my name is Susie and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is just going to be about answering your sleep training questions. In my last video, I shared my journey on sleep training and I also mentioned that I will be answering a lot of the great questions that I got regarding the topic on my Instagram. So uh, that's pretty much what we are doing in today's video. If you missed my previous video on how I sleep train my baby, be sure to check it out before you watch uh, this video because it will make a lot of things will make sense. Make sure to check that video uh, first because because I shared a lot of things regarding my sleep training journey, uh, including why I decided to sleep train and how sleep training has transformed our lives. Like literally it has, hasn't has it? She sleeps better now. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, let's jump straight into answering the questions. And let me bring up um, all these questions. Actually, let me go on my Instagram and answer them from uh, there because I don't want to miss any questions, right? All right, so the first question is, how did you do it? Because my baby settles to sleep but wakes 1,000 times after. So I didn't do a lot, to be honest. So to answer this question, I didn't do much and everything was a pretty much a straightforward from the get-go. I did a lot of research. I watched a lot of YouTube videos on sleep training. I read about a lot of the different methods to make a baby sleep. And after that, I condensed all the information and I only took what was going to work for us and baby. And in saying that, uh, that means we didn't have a strict sleep training method. We just did what worked for us. I adapted a lot of things from different methods um, and pretty much just seeing what worked for us. Some night, I know the first night I put baby in a room around eight o'clock and I kept going in like she was crying and I went into her room every 10 to 15 minutes just to reassure her, um, pat her on the back and I was talking softly like in a soft voice the lights were dim and yeah that's that's what we did the first night and it took her one and a half hours to sleep and on the second night she slept and yeah the first night though she did wake up twice but she wasn't fully up she was just making sounds like she was up but she was literally sleeping so all i did was just like wait tell myself that i'm gonna wait for two minutes before i went to check on her and in both moments she yeah and at both times she went back to sleep without me needing to go into the room and we repeated the same thing on the second night but on the second night she actually slept like um i think i was also lucky with that process guys i'm not gonna say it's something that i did or did not do i just feel like I was lucky and she slept. All right, so the second questions the second question is did you do any YouTube videos on sleep training? I want to learn about it. So I already did one which I uploaded um before uh, this one. So yeah, but at the time of asking this at the time of putting up this question box, I had not I had not done anything so yeah now i do have a video which i will link in the description box and i also share it on my instagram the third question is before sleep training was the waking up before sleep training was she waking up for the breasts what do you mean was she waking up she was literally <laughs> sleeping with the boob in her mouth <laughs> so yes before sleep training, she had the boob in her mouth the whole night. And that was one of the reasons why I decided to sleep train. Because she was not only having the boob all night, but she was not allowing me to get up. So that's um, that. The next question is, how can I sleep train myself? <laughs> this is so funny. Because the first time I, I spoke about sleep training on my Instagram, right? 
a lot of people were actually saying, I need to sleep train myself and I feel you. I need to be sleep trained because as much as I'm well rested now and baby's sleeping well, I still feel like I don't have um, good sleeping habits. Um, so yeah, that was quite funny. The next question is, when you started, what did you give her when she woke up crying during the night? Feed her? Nope. So uh, my goal was to not do anything because guys, I'm also like, um, what do they, I've seen the term on TikTok, lazy parenting. I'm one of those parents, right? So, and I think that's the reason why I co slept because I couldn't wake up and go and feed her in her room or sit in the chair. Nah. So to answer your question, no, when I sleep trained, she, I literally just I taught her to, so yeah, so when I sleep trained, the goal was to have her sleep all night with no feeding, no changes. And that's what we managed to do. All right, the next a question is, at what age did you start, what was she like before the routine? So I started at seven months. And I have spoken about this in my previous video, but I'm just going to share on here just in case you don't watch the other video. So baby's sleep habits before I decided on sleep training, for the first three months, baby was sleeping well. She was sleeping in a bedside um, co-sleeper next to our bed, and she was sleeping so well. I was still sleep deprived, um, regardless of her sleeping well, but this was due to my anxiety. It didn't have anything to do with baby sleeping habits. I was just, I had a really bad uh, postpartum anxiety. So yeah, that was the only reason I was up all night checking on her. After three months, baby got sick. She had an ear infection and she had the cold and she became really fussy and clingy. And I decided to co-sleep in our bed. And that's where everything went downhill. After that, she was super fussy. She was literally sleeping with the boob in her mouth. She wouldn't let me leave the bed. So yeah, I think this answers the question. I've explained how she was prior to sleep training. And pretty much the reason why we decided to sleep train was because I didn't have a life and I wasn't getting enough sleep. Okay, the next question is, do you rock her to sleep or she falls asleep on her own? Okay, so, um, like I said, my sleep training routine was something that I wanted to be really flexible. Therefore, I adapted a bit of um, habits from all the sleep training methods that are out there. So depending on how baby was, right, I was just assessing. Some nights I knew she has been fed, her diaper is dry, she has been changed, she had a bath, so she's just being fussy. On these nights I was comfortable to just like leave her to sleep and check on her every 10 to 15 minutes and for us it was basically one night because that's the only night we ever had trouble right then not to say other nights we haven't had trouble other nights when i have had trouble i've realized that you know what um she needs attention and i am going to give her that attention but i did so in such a way that she still knew that I have to sleep. So that was just me patting her on the back. Or sometimes I'll be just like, oh, let me give you a feed. But that didn't happen often, to be honest, especially the feeds. I didn't feed her at all. Yeah, I didn't feed her at all. But um, just to answer the question, honestly, if you are sleep training, if you think your baby needs to be fed, mama, pick her up, give her a feed. But just what I would just encourage is no talking right? If you happen to talk just to reassure her, keep it low and soft so that she knows that I still have to go back to sleep and she's not wide awake thinking it's time to play, right? And yeah, if she needs to be patted um, on her back, do that. Why not? We don't want to 
traumatize babies in the name of sleep training. All right, so uh, the next question, but um, anyways, I put her, the other thing that I forgot to mention is I put her to sleep while she was still drowsy so that she gets that, she learns that skill of going to sleep on her own instead of me putting down when she's already sleeping. All right, moving on to the next question. How do you achieve not waking up at night? Mine wakes up to drink milk at night. So I think it's because with the training, I've just taught her that no, we're not going to feed at night. That that's pretty much it. Because I feed her. And also the other thing, my baby had already started solids when we started this training. So I'll be rest assured that she has been fed. She has had her last drink of milk just before bed. So I know she's fine. And the next question, how did you start and how long did it take for her to fully adjust? My baby sleeps with the boob in the mouth. I feel like we already answered this one. Does baby not get to eat for the whole eight hours you'll be sleeping? Yes. And honestly, I don't even think there's anything wrong with it. She is. And I think, like I said, there's a lot of methods. There's different methods and the best thing... There's different methods and the most important thing is to do what works for your baby. There's a lot of things to consider. Baby's age and yeah, you know how, 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 how many times your baby feeds. And if something's right, if something's wrong, your gut will tell you mama. So yeah, don't just copy. But for me, why I felt comfortable for baby to sleep for the whole eight hours without feeding is because a new baby was fed. And she was a lot older. She was already seven months. She was having solids. So um, it was comfortable for me that I am not waking up to feed her. And I didn't feel guilty about that. And then the next question, you did it at what age and which method? I think I've already answered this. At seven months and no particular method. I just adapted all the other methods <laughs> and combined them to, um, to, to do what works for my baby. Hi Susie, can you take me step by step on how you trained her and when it is suitable to start? Uh, thanks. I think I've already mentioned it and just for an in-depth answer, you can uh, visit my previous video where I spoke a lot about how I did it. But just to answer the last question that says, when is it suitable to start? I honestly don't think there's a, the right, there's a right time and wrong time. Like I said, do what works for you. You know your goal and what's practical to you and your family and most importantly, your baby. When did you start a sleep training? My baby is five months and wakes up three to five times. I think we've already answered this. Uh, it's seven months. At what age did you sleep train? Seven months. Oh, wow, that's amazing. I wish that for my twin boys. I never saw you, Alene. How did you do it? Oh, I wish you all the best with your twins, Mama. And I bet it's not easy. I can only imagine with two babies. Uh, but I think I've already answered how I started. And I have a detailed video. Be sure to check that one. Tried for three days. It was the pits. Baby is back with us in the in his bassinet. What can I do better? He's seven months on Saturday, by the way. I don't know if it was separation anxiety. You woke up over four times in the night. Usually, he wakes up once. Go on. Okay, so honestly, I think there's a lot of information that's not included in your question. Um, like, what could I do better? I think that... I think I saw something like that. Like, what, what can I do better? First of all, I don't know how you're doing it. And however you're doing it, I don't think you're doing anything wrong. Babies are different. And when it's time, you'll be fine. Since you said um, he was sleeping in his um, core sleeper, like in his bassinet, maybe it could be separation anxiety. I'm honestly not sure because maybe he felt comfortable and safe with you, knowing you are in the room. So I don't think there's anything that you've done wrong. But in the meantime, just make sure yourself, you are ready. And if 
it feels comfortable for him to be back in your room, please do what works for you and what keeps your sanity because you don't want to be up and down four times a night if you are going to have to go to work or do other things during the day don't rush this process and the next question i don't know where to start my baby is nine months now and uh feeling defeated you're not the only one it will get better there is a light at the end of the tunnel and take it one step at a time i have already answered the other question of you know Oh, okay, take it one step at a time. Don't rush yourself. Don't rush the baby. It will happen. In the meantime, just do what works. And then, in the meantime, just do what works. But if you really want to know how I did it, check my video, like the previous video. What is your nighttime routine? Does baby self-soothe and put yourself to sleep? Or what do you do? So our nighttime routine is very flexible. I have chosen to focus more on activities that will signal to baby that it's now time to sleep or it's nearly bedtime. So some of those activities include having a bath, um, dimming all the lights, uh, keeping it really soft, like keeping our voices soft and keeping the house quiet. Not like dead quiet, but, you know, just low because it's now almost bedtime and changing her diaper, getting her into her sleep suit. I feed her and um, the last feed that I do before I put her to bed, it's mainly in her room while we're sitting in the nursing chair and she knows we're rocking and I'll sing softly or play some music softly, not too loud. But then in saying that I don't do all of those things, every night like i said sometimes hubby will need to put baby to sleep because i am at work so he does what works for him but whatever he does the activities that i do are the ones that he will pick from i know he doesn't give her a bath all the times and obviously he doesn't feed her from the boobs so that's the bottle so it's really flexible but by now our baby knows that these kind of activities um just a signal that it's almost bedtime and that has made life so much easier for us because it's not strict and we don't have to stick to the same things when when did you start sleep training my baby is five months and wakes my baby is five months and wakes up three to five times. So I started at seven months and from the get-go when we started, I just taught her that there is no feeding at night and that's been going well, really great. At what age do you sleep train? I don't think there's a specific age in whenever you feel like baby is ready. Some people I know, they literally never put baby in their room straight from the hospital baby is in her own room so do what works for you mamas oh your nose is so clogged and which method did i, I already answer that okay so what is your nighttime routine the next part of the question says does your baby self-soothe and put herself to sleep or what do you do Yes, she's now self-soothing and she puts herself back to sleep. What's your sleep and food schedule like with baby to ensure she's full and sleepy? To ensure she's full and sleepy enough for the entire night. What is your sleep and food schedule like? Oh, so she usually has dinner around 7. That's when she eats her dinner. And after that, from then on... It's the night time, like the bedtime routine starts. We've got our lights dimmed. If I'm giving her a bath, I do it. I, I get her into her pajamas, her slip suit. I change her diaper and we're keeping it quiet and soft in the house. And yeah, and then she has her last, because she usually goes to bed around nine. And then she has her last feed around um, eight, eight thirty. Because, guys, and I think the other thing, my baby is now on solid, so she doesn't feed as much, right? So, 
I don't worry about whether I don't worry about whether or not she's not full or anything. Do you have to turn her? Nope. Um, I think I mentioned this earlier on in my other video. Baby, she has, her development has been really good. At four months, she could already turn herself. Guys, I'm not even making this up. At three days, my baby could turn her head from this side. Oh, inside a video. From this side to this side, like this. She could turn her head. She couldn't turn her body. At four months, my baby was already sitting. I will put a video. She was already sitting. It wasn't stable, but she was sitting without pillows. And she could hold her head up like this and really strong. And she could turn herself from her, from her tummy to her back and back to her tummy again. So I was very confident. Um that I, I i wasn't worrying about her on her tummy at all because she was yeah i felt like she was um i felt like she was safe so i don't have to turn her just to answer the question i thought i just thought i'd bring a bit of background to that do you think your method would work with a 16 month old while coming sleep okay do you think do you think your method would work with a 16 month old while coming sleeping seeing flames she's still on the boob on some days and i mean some she manages to sleep without and i mean some she manages to sleep without the boob if tired honestly i don't think i can speak for a 16 month old but i think um with the method that i've shared it's pretty much flexible and I feel like it's all about teaching your babies the skills, not necessarily being too strict on them. So just teaching them the skills. It might take longer though because she's a lot older. But I am confident that if you are consistent and you have activities that you engage her to signal that it's now bedtime, she will come around. How did you handle the cries? Fortunately for us, she didn't cry a lot. She only cried the first day, which was pretty much for one and a half hours. But every 10 to 15 minutes, I kept going in and spending about three to four minutes with her. Just like I didn't pick her up because I knew she was fed. So I was just like patting her and saying good night, just reassuring her that mommy's here. It's okay. It's time to sleep. We're doing this for us. I don't know if she understood. No, no, no. Don't play with the microphone. No. No. Yeah, so I don't know if she understood what I was saying, but whatever we did worked. Uh, hello, Susie. How do I do it? I am struggling. I rarely sleep, Susie. The person also said, I can't get beautiful. I can't get beautiful to sleep the whole night. Lies and and she's one. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mama. I know how that feels like. But like I already mentioned, I think you have to focus more on um, building up her skills to building up her skills, um, her sleeping skills. And not focusing so much on, you know, the routine and everything, like not making it as strict. That's what worked for me. And I think uh, I can't really speak on babies that are um, older than my baby because I, I can imagine how that would be like. And already my baby was seven, so she, she has her own, you know, like she's Miss Independent and she already has formed some sort of uh, skills um yeah like i already mentioned i can't really speak for babies that are not the same age as my baby even if they were the same age babies are different but one thing that i just want to encourage you is just being consistent with whatever method that you end up picking and babies strive on um babies thrive on routines so whether your routine is rigid or flexible just make sure you are consistent with whatever routine that you end up going with and whatever method that you end up picking for your baby but yeah sending loves and hugs to you, sending love and hugs to your mama 
Hello, I love your content. How did you sl start sleep training and at what age? We already answered that. Is there a book you used for guidance? <laughs> My friend sent me a book all the way from Melbourne. To be honest, I didn't... Like, I wouldn't say I didn't use the method because she had already used... Because she... Because she had already used the book and she explained things to me personally. I didn't really get a chance to read that book um, because I just wanted to start. So like I already mentioned, I watched a lot of videos. I had friends that I spoke to. I had YouTube videos that I watched. I had stuff that I read online and I just picked what I thought was relevant to my baby. So, yeah, I didn't really just use one particular method or one particular thing. Thank you for sharing the journey. Not a mom yet, but you are prepping me. You're welcome. The next question is, what are your first steps for sleep training? I currently have four-month-old twins. Hey, I'm already sending hugs, guys. I cannot imagine trying to have, trying to sleep train two babies. It's already difficult with one baby. So I am sending you strength, mama. And to answer your question, I would say the first steps to the first, not steps as such, but I would say the first things that you actually have to consider is your baby's age, your baby's feeding habits. Like I think for me, I would say I was comfortable because baby was seven months. I felt like that was old enough. And I was comfortable because baby had already started solids and I felt like she will be full. Uh, compared to when she's breastfeeding where she constantly has to breastfeed because I was exclusively breastfeeding, right? So I think uh, those are the things that you have to consider and also your goals as well because as a mom that probably has to go back to work, if a sleep training is important to you because of that, I feel like those are some of the things that you have to consider and what steps? I, I'm not sure if this is worth mentioning here. I know some people who want to have all the equipment i just want to encourage you that start with what you have i didn't have that night light that a lot of moms use for babies i didn't have a baby monitor so i relied on um, having to check on my baby physically and i also used a lamp you know like that bedside lamp from the one that you put on the side of the bed. I took that from, because my son has two in a room, so I took one from her room, from his room, because I knew if I kept saying, oh, I have to buy this, I probably wasn't going to start because I'll probably want to get the best um, equipment. So I would say that's, uh, that's one of the things also that you don't have to, you don't have to have it all. Just start with what you have. It's better for you to add things because you think, it's not working because you don't have this. Not for you to buy a whole lot of things that you probably won't even use. Babies are <laughs> babies will humble you. They will refuse a thousand dollar whatever. You buy expensive bottles and your your babies will prefer those bottles for a dollar. So yeah, just start with what you have. I don't know if I've answered the question, but I feel like those are some of the things that you have to consider. What method did you use? We answered that. Baby and I co sleep and he, I, we already answered that. My baby turned nine months today. Is it too late to start? We're going to answer that one. Honestly, I started my baby at seven months. And whether or not it's too early or too late, it all depends on your baby and what you think because you're the one that can see your baby's development because there's a whole lot of things that you have to um, consider before you start sleep training. The second, we, we've been co-sleeping since birth. Also, she's a fussy eater. So I worry that the night feedings are necessary because she's not eating well. You know what? I think you've already answered this question. If you feel like baby's not going to be feeding, if you feel like that's going to affect your baby's feedings and you think those feed, feeds are important, don't do it. Do not do it because we sleep training, guys. It's not for everyone, and um, I'm 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 really really, you know, I, I think I'm 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 really I'm happy that she also realizes that 
the needs of your baby. So if you think baby needs to feed more often and those feeds are important to baby, please don't sleep train her. Or if you are going to do it, do it in such a way that you are going to be waking baby up for feeds and stuff. But honestly, the reason why I didn't feel the need to wake baby up is because if she is sleeping, trust me, if babies need something, they will let you know. If baby is hungry and they want to feed, they'll wake up and they'll cry. So for me, uh, if baby is wet and they are uncomfortable, they need a change, they will tell you. So I think uh, that's the reason why I was just like, nah, I'm not going to wake my baby up for feeds. But if you, if you feel like maybe they're not capable to wake to tell you if they need something please do what what's best for you and baby baby and i co sleep and feed at night but i think it's time now if you think it's time mama try it see how you go and you feel see how you go and your baby will guide you see how you go all right hi susie when did you start training her we answer that i'm still i am struggling with my three months old son he doesn't want to Honestly, if you're struggling and you're not coping, don't push it. Don't push it. Do it when you're ready and do it when your baby is ready. How did you do it? I don't know sleep. I have a seven-month-old. He wakes up every 30 minutes looking for the boob. Yo, this sounds like my baby. <laughs> this sounds like my baby. For a detailed um, explanation on how I did it, check out my previous video. But honestly, um... Baby girl took it well. We did it the first day and the second day she had gotten the hang of it. And now she just sleeps on her own. Hey Susie, when did you start? Hey Susie, when did you start training baby to sleep on her tummy? I didn't really train my baby to sleep on her tummy, but I did my research and um, I think there was a lot of things on how you can see how it's safe uh, how you know how to know when it's safe for baby to sleep on her tummy and uh once i saw all those milestones on the baby i yeah once i saw that baby had met all those milestones i felt safe to have her on her tummy and for us it happened really early on um like i already mentioned at four months my baby could um get a roll from her tummy to her back to her side and back on her tummy again, she would, um, then at six, at six months, my baby was already, um, if she's sleeping right, she would wake up and sit and start crying if she needs attention. So I was confident that, uh, you know, she's safe. And what else? At four months, she was already sitting. Like she was sitting and the yeah, head and neck control was really good. So yeah, those were the things that I looked out for, for me to say, I think it's safe for my baby to sleep on her tummy. I didn't really train her. But uh, when she was young, we did a lot of tummy time. And also, whenever she was sleeping during the day and I was in the room with her, I would let her sleep on her tummy because that way I would, I, I would be able to check on her if she struggled at any point. So, uh, next question. How did you start? How often does she nap during the day? And at what time? How often does she nap during the day? Ooh, that's still something that we're working on. She's not as consistent, but on a good day, when we say she has napped well, she, she takes a two naps of about two hours at a time. And some days she doesn't sleep at all. Some days she will sleep for 10 minutes and then she's up. <laughs> and then she gets fussy. I try to make her sleep. I feed her everything. She sleeps about 10 minutes, then she's up. So yeah, we're still not consistent. I'm still trying to, to use the same, to teach her the same skills during the day. And yeah, I just feel like we still have a long way to go there. Hey, mommy, she sleeps the whole of eight hours. She wakes when I give him milk. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know if you're telling me about your baby or if you're asking, but if you are asking me, hey, mommy, she sleeps the whole of eight hours. She wakes when I give... 
So my baby sleeps the whole of the eight hours and um, she doesn't wake up for feeds. I just let her self-soothe back. Because honestly, when she gets up, it's only for like two seconds. And I realized that when I was co-sleeping with her, because I was close to her, I was quick to give in already. The boob is out and I'm already holding her and stuff like that. Hi, my son is eight months and I'm struggling to get him out of the bed to his court. Any advice on to how? I think this one needs a lengthy answer. Um, but like I already mentioned and I keep mentioning it, babies are different. But if you are interested in knowing how I did it, please check my previous video. Ndotangi <laughs> I feel you. I feel you, my sister. Just start. Honestly, just start. Go with your gut and um, observe your baby. If they are struggling or not, see, you will see. Once you start, you get a hang of it. But if you want to know how I started, check my previous video. What time does baby have a last bottle or breast milk? Around 8, 8.30. Because sometimes she will refuse. She will now start to play with the boob. Because she also has dinner since she's already on solid. So I usually give her last a breast milk feed or the bottle around 8, 8.30. How did you manage to leave her to sleep in her room alone? Her anxiety? Yours? Oh, this is a great question. So I feel like I had a lot more anxiety um, postpartum, right? And by the time I decided to, to sleep train, I had already worked on that. And for me, it was more of the goal to get my baby sleep trained so that I can get rest. So that um, she's also sleeping and I'm also sleeping. So I wasn't focused more on, I wasn't as anxious. I had a goal and I felt like we were ready. So I didn't feel anxious at all and I, I wouldn't speak on her anxiety but she didn't display any signs of being distressed or anything in actual fact she actually surprised me she did really well what do you what do you feed as dinner to ensure she doesn't wake up to nurse at night honestly I am she usually eats whatever we eat and um then if we have something that she's probably not going to be able to eat, she always has her own meals. And it's usually like protein, veggies, and some kind of carbohydrate. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't give her anything specific. How did you adjust the daytime routine and naps to ensure she sleeps through the night? Like I already mentioned, we're still working on her daytime routine. In the nighttime routine, we have just been having activities that we do to signal that it's almost bedtime and that's been working well for us. Can you sleep train and course sleep? I think you may be able to do that, but in my experience, I feel like that would be a challenge because my baby will smell that I'm there and she will not sleep. She wants the boob. Literally going like, up, 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 up. that's her. Is she sleeping? So, um, yeah, I felt I feel like in my case, it was going to be challenging because baby girl would just want to feed because the moment I'm there, as soon as I get up, she would feel it. And as soon as she just goes, ah, she wants to feed. So that was not going to happen. <laughs> like she wasn't going to be tr sleep trained. Hi, mommy. I live in a house um, full of people. So it's always noisy until around 11 p.m. What can I do? I think it depends. What kind of setup are you talking about where you're sharing a house and you have no control on how loud or on how loud those people can be? But honestly, if we were a family, I think I would communicate with the people that I'm with to say this is the goal. And yeah, I understand it can be hard if maybe you're sharing a house with people that you you have nothing to do and you have nothing you have no control over what they do but if it's your family communicate with them that this is what you want to train to do and your goal and yeah work together pretty much my baby has eight months my baby is eight months old and can't sleep all night 
or at least three hours she wakes up she wakes up two in two she, she wakes up twice in two hours and just goes back to sleep after feeding any advice i've been trying everything honestly i feel like a lot of things um would depend on the context right and on on your setup the eight oh you've already mentioned they are eight months and some babies are just different and that's why there's different methods i know there's a method where it's okay for you to go in and feed baby and then you gradually um wean them from feeding at night so just try everything i know you said you've tried everything but also maybe try not to feed at night i'm not saying do that but i know that's what worked well for me so honestly do what works best for baby but for me what helped was just cutting out that night feed and because maybe because they're eight months you could try making sure that they have a solid meal before bedtime and then they feed that way you're rest assured that your baby is not hungry is your baby still breastfeeding yes she is feeding schedule please honestly i don't have a feeding schedule when it comes to breastfeeding my ba my baby breastfeeds whenever she wants to and the only thing that i might have a schedule it's not really time like you know like it's not really like she has to eat at this time but during the day she will have breakfast she will have like um lunch and she will have dinner so she's having three solid meals a day and i breastfeed whenever she wants to feed hi my question is based on your response in terms of motor skills how would you advance those so i think this is because i i, I mentioned a bit about uh, my baby's motor skills and hair development on instagram i mentioned briefly on that so to be honest i don't think you can fast track uh, your baby motor skills but these things that you may do i know tummy time is really important for babies it helps with a lot of things and that's something that we just did from the get-go my baby had a lot of tummy time other than that i can't think of anything specific that we did and it's also genes guys my mom said i started sitting at three months i'm not even kidding and at eight months i was already walking around at nine months i was already talking so it's got a lot to do with genes as well my son didn't talk to he was about four and a half years everything else he did in record time so babies are different even your babies your own kids will be different so I don't think there's a way to really fast track anything, but you do things that are best for your baby. And if baby, they'll come around. And how did you deal with crying from sleep training? My baby just cries and I give in and take care. Oh, I refused to give in, Shem. The first night she cried and I just went in. We didn't have play talk. It was just soft voice, good night, you have to sleep. It's really important that we learn to sleep. And I'm talking to her really softly and I didn't give in from the get-go. So for us, I was lucky it was only one night where I had to endure that. No questions, just want to say congrats. I swear by sleep training, I don't care what anyone else. Thank you, mama. Uh, my boys are five and four. Is it too late to start? Um, just to answer that, my friend just sleep trained her baby who's three years old. So I don't think it's too late. Because wow, Sana, they won't sleep till we sleep. Also, they leave their bedroom and come to ours. Yeah, it's, it's a bit tricky with, uh, when, when they are quite older. It's a bit tricky, <laughs> honestly. And I don't know what to say because my daughter is only eight months and... I didn't sleep train my son, to be honest. I'm even embarrassed to say how long she was, he was sleeping. I think up until he was two and a half years, he was sleeping with us. How did you transition from breastfeeding to bottle feeding? Uh, well, this is not related, but um, I gave my baby the bottle as early as possible. Yeah, so with breastfeeding and bottle feeding, my baby has always um, practiced both as early as possible because that was something that was really intentional about since I knew I was going to go back to work 
and I pumped and I wanted everyone to be able to feed the baby. So it wasn't a hard transition really. Advice on how to train a baby that hits the sides of the cot when it wakes up. Oh, these babies. I know my baby would literally spin in the cot bed. I, I know there's cot bumpers as well, but I'm just not sure how safe others are. Personally, I'm not using anything for my baby. How did you know she was ready for sleep training? I think it was mainly the goal, not so much of she's ready. I think when I realized that I'm always exhausted, I'm not present as a mom, I'm always tired, and I wanted that to change, and that, that's the reason why I decided to sleep train. So, yeah, and in terms of being ready, she was already seven months, she was already on solids, and yeah, I just felt like it's, it's okay, <laughs> really. Hey, mommy, did you do something for her to stop waking up midnight for feeding i didn't do anything in particular but from the get-go when we started training i didn't feed her during the night and she it just worked for us at what age would you say we need to start it at baby is sleeping three to four hours straight at seven weeks three to four hours i think that's pretty good honestly that's pretty good my baby was sleeping the whole time i was literally the one who was waking her up because of my anxiety. I think that's really good. And as for recommending when to start, I think it is different with every baby. You, you, for me, I would say I feel at ease knowing that my baby is full. So when I started solids, I just thought um, it would be a good time other than me wanting to be well rested and all that stuff i think solids was just a good time to say now my baby's on solids i think she's fine all right so we're just gonna answer the last question because most of them are pretty much the same asking how i did it how old baby is which i feel like i already answered let's answer this last one i'm so scared to sleep train but i need it my baby is turning six months can i start then Ooh, I'm not going to say whether or not it's time for you to start, but I would, I, highly recommend, I would highly encourage you to do your own research and to check your baby's development. And at six months, I'm sure maybe you are already going to start them on solids. So for me, those were the key points. Knowing that my baby has started solids, it, felt, it made me feel safe. It made me feel at ease that baby is not going to be hungry. And yeah and, I, yeah, and I think for me, I had a goal. I was where you are. I couldn't take it anymore. I was very irritable. I wasn't sleeping. I was exhausted. I wasn't present for my family. I wasn't even present for the baby because I couldn't even have five minutes of playing with the baby during the day. So it was really important that I teach my baby good sleep hygiene so that we're both sleeping through the night and we are both well rested. And trust me, once we started sleep training, me and baby were both well rested and baby was thriving and I was thriving and everything was going smoothly. And I, I think I, I really, really do not regret starting that. Anyways, I think that's it for today's sleep training Q&A. And I hope it really helped to answer some of those questions that you had regarding sleep training and my personal journey with it. Remember, every baby is different and what works for one might not work for the other so from this video i want you to take what resonates with you and your baby and your family and everything else chuck it in the bin <laughs> i love engaging with you all and hearing all your experiences so 
if you have any questions i leave them in the comment section and if you want to add on to the conversation be sure to do that in the comment section as well because we all learn from each other and i haven't got it all i just happen to have this platform where i share my experiences and engage with you so i'm also keen to learning from you guys what has worked for you because we still have a long way i know for myself baby girl is still not napping well during the day and i'm you know i i'm i'm happy to learn from you what has worked well with you guys because i think i i still have let it go because i i keep thinking to myself sleeping at night is more important to me so she gets away with not sleeping during the day but i still want to train her to have um really good naps during the day so let's continue the conversation in the comments and if you found this video helpful please uh, do not forget to like the video click that subscribe button and comment below letting me know what you think of the video uh, i've got lots of exciting uh videos on motherhood coming up your way so yeah turn on that notification bell and make sure you are subscribed so that you don't miss out and thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next one uh, bye for now